like uh, got a, a really close one there. What's the overriding emotion? Just relief that you got over the line that they were really charging hard towards the finish line? Yeah, I think anyone who's been watching this competition and realised the Central's have been a really strong performing team over the last six weeks. So that wasn't lost on anyone at Nord Footy Club. And lo and behold, it's the way the game played out. I think the last three have been Sturt, South Adelaide, Norwood have all come down to under a kick. And the last 30 seconds have generally been at their end. So I think the, for us to do the work to get the margin that we had, we showed that it was we were pleased with where we got to. I mean, I think we got to 16. And then they just got a bit of momentum. A couple of their sideable players got going a little bit. Like Grace started getting involved and Dudley bobbed up. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just really pleased that we, from where we were at two and four earlier in the year, we've uh, put ourselves in a position to really launch into some um, finals footy, which is what you set your whole year up. So, not sure where that puts us. I haven't looked at it, but. Second, I reckon, at this stage. Right, yeah, yeah okay. And, and we, we didn't play full capacity, but it's what the offer allows you to do. And they're, they're tough, they're, they run quick, and they get some space, and they, they really stressed us a few times. But when you do the work early and it gets close, you do the work to stack up that throwing goes, so and I'm really pleased with how to get the result. Did that kind of go how you expected? Not necessarily a one point ball game in the end, but just two teams that are pretty strong in the clinches. Um, just going at each other is going to be low scoring regardless of conditions. Yeah, it's interesting because, uh, like I said, the last three games, the Sturt, the South Adelaide, the Norwood, have looked exactly the same. Probably what, 50 each, 45, 58 yeah. points each, come down to the wire. Um, and the games out here, it's tough. Like it's a big ground and yeah, it's hard work to get up and back and like the weather today, where none of us were really sure what type of game was going to be presented. But I think it's two teams who value similar things in the game and yeah, it, it did probably play out yeah. the script pretty much. And for the first three quarters, you had a lot more of the footy. Um, do you feel like you should have perhaps been on top more in the scoreboard? I thought Central's pressure skills early forced us to over handball. I yeah, thought we were a bit yep. loose with that in the first quarter, and I think we might have had 30 more uncontested possessions, but I didn't think that was equating to dominance. So, mm. uh, yeah, it was what, the first five minutes. I don't know if the ball moved. It was just tackle, tackle, stoppage, and yeah, it's good footy. That's what this, this competition's about. But, uh, try and impose your way of playing on the opposition, and both value similar things, like I said before. So, um, I thought we over possessed and probably didn't maximise going inside 50 early, which was a bit frustrating. But um, once again, They've got some good players down back who marked the ball really well. I think Montgomery's become a really good player in this competition. And you know, Young Shaw and the wing played really well. And yeah, you know, they're forging, you know, putting together a really strong team centuries. And with the fourth quarter where it was obviously repeat entries down their end, were you, were you um, pleased with the way that your back line stood tall? Particularly there was a couple of rush behinds. Dudley, is that was centimetres away, mm. um, but your back line stood, stood up. Yeah, I think Carroll made a big play, I think uh, Ball made Ball. a big play, and yeah, we probably didn't nail things that we needed to get done late in the quarter with playing, kicking to the back pocket to a contest mm. and getting out marked down the line a few times. We didn't close out, probably. We've been in these games, I think we've played 16 games this year, 15 of them have been game of the line a three quarter time. So we've had a fair bit of experience, but we didn't quite know what we needed to know late. So it makes you nervous when it's down that end of the ground, but yeah, they fought and scrapped well and were able to prevent a goal. And I'm sure you're probably discussing a couple of minutes ago, but who did the job for you today? Obviously Nick Rokar got a lot of it, got lots of tackles as well. Uh, Harry Boyd is the powerhouse. Yep. Uh, I'm sure there's others that sort of Yeah, well, your... Rokar has been a dominant midfielder in this competition right throughout the year, and Boyd's just kept improving week to week. Um, we. I think Grace is a dangerous player, so Cameron Ball had a good battle with him and it probably wasn't until the last quarter. Grace had a bit of an influence in the game. I thought Donnelly did a good job on Lang, who's been a good player for him this year as well. Uh, Rantel was dealing with a personal matter, a family matter over the last couple of days and was able to come out and perform. I thought Larkins as a deputant did a great job of everything that he's been doing the reserves. He was able to bring the senior look footy and young Lowe, who had his appendix out only two and a half weeks ago, yeah. he's been able to recover and come back and perform. And a bit, bit of a snapshot of some guys. We've probably had some guys who played just okay or not quite to their best, but once again, it's the challenge of being able to step back up week to week to week in this competition and play to a high level. And there's been a bit of talk externally about Harry Boyd potentially being a McGarry medal candidate. Um, it doesn't often go to the big guys, it usually goes to the mid midfield medal like the Brownlow. Um, but what, what are your thoughts on the season he's had and his chances? Yeah, I'd, he's very, very highly valued and respected player at our footy club, Harry. It's the way he's worked to improve his game and develop his leadership, his care for mates and the work he does in his opposition, he would have known Billy McCormack inside out today. It's still the type of level of professionalism how it is. How it's seen by umpires, I don't know, but I do see him get a lot of votes in the coaches' award. That both all the coaches would vote on five, four, three, two, one, and he's very prominent in that. Mm -hmm. So he's been very pivotal as to why we've been having have a positive year so far. And the knee injury to Corey Stockdale, that one looked a bit uh, 
the landing didn't look good. Um, what's the early sort of oh, it was enough to rule him out. Don't know is the answer. Uh, he's had a bit of prior history with yeah. me there, so I don't know whether it's been an agitation or just a little flare up. So we'll assess him during the week. And uh, do you expect to get none and Panos back before finals? Or? Uh, that, yeah, the latest medical update I had, yes, we would think so. Uh, there's a bit to play out there with the re recovery of their injury, but also the way we condition them and be ready to be able to play at the level. So, hey, give it. How are you, mate? Good to see you, great man. <laughs> well, the great skill of McKenna. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a bit to play out there. Uh, Matty Panos, yeah, did got some good sessions in this week, so we'd like to think he's closer. And Cotter's another one we're was pretty keen to get back as well. It's probably been a bit forgotten about. And Wilkins is probably borderline, but he's made some positive steps this week. So there's some important Blaine Loudon's the other one who missed today from a uh, yeah an issue with his back. And hopefully this week he might be able to get back going. So there's a couple we need to reintroduce, but it's got to be at the right time and with the right conditioning. I feel like last year you had a few just before finals yeah. all in a row mm -hmm. that a whole bunch of guys were just ready to come back yeah. almost that's, at the same time. That's, it's really similar. Yeah. yeah, like we have McKenzie, Piopolo, none yeah. all were available at one time, and then you've got to assess the year, put them all back at the one time, and one, one's it. different to the other, and yeah, who's more important, all those things. Yeah. So that's the job of us as coaches to work out what's right. No it's good on you. Thanks, Wig. Pleasure.